Hey everybody, Adam from Atlas Gunworks. We're doing the video on screw removal and some tricks. So the first thing, the, the key to this is whatever, whether it's an open gun and screws on the side that are gonna have red Loctite or on the scope mount, also red Loctite on an open gun or on the, on the limited guns like an Athena, um, all this is blue Loctite, but the Loctite still is gonna bind up the screw and work well um, at holding it. So what you need to have is a really good interface between your tool and whatever screw you've got here. So these are Torque, I think they're 10 pluses. Uh, all these screwdrivers will be available on the website shortly. But you want to test it a little bit, make sure this has got a pretty good interface. Um, same thing if it's an Allen key. <clears throat> I want to make sure it's really tight and fresh. If you've got an Allen key that's got the ends cut off, rounded off, just go um, cut it down or get a fresh one. So like uh, the 530 seconds and a lot of them that we use a lot, I just buy 10 packs off Amazon and when it gets a little torqued, I throw it out. Um, you know, for 50 cents, you don't want to wreck a screw in the gun but if and so the first thing that I do <clears throat> when I'm doing this is I'll come in I'll get a nice push down firmly and check my this feels good and I'm gonna turn 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 and just even pressure increasing and this one actually broke if you came over to this one and in fact that didn't happen your turn 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 and nothing's happening and you're getting to a, a spot where you think you're gonna potentially strip something out the next step is heat, right? So <clears throat> you buy a $30 heat gun from Ace Hardware like this one, um, or some of you guys probably have a fancy snap-on one, or and a hair driver where it works in a pinch, but um, as long as there's no, so stay away from the fiber on the front of the gun, but as other than an optic beam on the gun, there's no real worry about putting heat to them. So most of the Loctites start to let go somewhere between high 200s and mid 300 um, degrees. And so what we're gonna try to do is just get this to a spot where the Loctite, instead of being a solid and plugging up the threads, essentially what Loctite does, is we're gonna get it a little more liquid or pliable and that's gonna let the screw turn. And a little bit of heat goes a long way. So typically you're seeing me do it right on the screw head. I'm going to put a little heat to it. Make sure not to burn your hands and whenever you set this down, don't set it on anything, it'll catch on fire. Keep it off our mat here. And now I'm going to make sure it's not too hot. And the same thing, I'm going to turn, 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 firm pressure. <clears throat> this would go if I, if, I, if I kept going, but if it didn't, I might somehow um, set the gun up and have someone else help me and run the heat gun at the same time as I'm turning. So that's your, that's your level three. So level one is just putting some pressure on the top of the screw, turn, 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 this one went. Level two is putting some heat on and then doing that same thing, turn, turn, turn. And now that one turns. And the third level would be doing that, you know, putting that pressure on while someone else is, is putting heat to it. And eventually they'll turn. And I'll go ahead and finish this. Um, reinstall the plate. So a couple things when you're reinstalling the plate that are important and actually this will be a good example of what we're looking at. <clears throat> that had a lot of blue Loctite so um, how much Loctite and what level you have are, are kind of the two factors and how, how difficult they'll be to remove. And so a little bit of heat goes a long way. You can kind of see that that's not totally chalky. It would be more chalky if um, if you put no heat on it. So the rear sight comes off. You're going to want to clean up these holes a little bit. I just take a Q-tip and some alcohol. And then when I'm reinstalling, same thing. Make sure you clean your screws um, with a little bit of lock or um, before you put Loctite on. Clean them with a little bit of alcohol. And same procedure on. You're going to put a little dab of blue Loctite. I would always say a medium amount um, is necessary. So I've got my screws here. I like to do 242 blue is what we would do in this scenario. And so this is a this is a fair amount right here. That's going to create a pretty good bond. I think I'm okay with that. I might dab a little off as I go, but pretty much coat the whole screw if I'm doing blue. 
a little less if you're doing red typically. And then I've got a fresh Allen key and the key here is to not start to strip the hole out on the way in, that way on the way out. So good firm. At some point we might get you guys torque numbers on here. So I put a lot on this one. And again, a lot of it drips off. I've got a nice coating there. I like that. And we're right back. And then the Loctite's gonna need about 24 hours to set up. So try not to shoot them or do it, put any heat to them or anything for 24 hours if possible. I'm gonna come back and do, <clears throat> I usually use the 90 degree side as my last torque and try to keep those a little fresh. I, I'm using a really, really tight Allen key. Again, I'm trying really to save the thread. I don't care if I wreck the Allen key, but I don't wanna say, I don't wanna start to strip or open up the spacing on my screw. So nice and tight, that should be good, should come off easy. And then with the SRO, it's gonna be the same thing. I'm gonna use a little bit of blue. And we are, uh, we're about to list Allen keys for all of these on the website. Uh, these should be two and a half millimeter, memory serves me. We're basically gonna list all the tools that we use. Now, if you've got, I do a little less Loctite when I put on the optic just because that's something that's easy enough to check because the screws are on the top as well as when I, I can use heat on the optics but a lot less right I've got some plastic here and some electronics to worry about <clears throat> so I try not to have to ever use heat when there's an optic right there once the optics out of the way um, heat's not really gonna bother anything hope to see you guys on the range soon